The sir, my question will be, st will be still on the Almonte petition. And of course, we know, sir, that the death of Baby River, um, the daughter of detained activist Nasino, sparked part public outrage. And she's one of the petitioners who sought for that, for their temporarily really citing you know, the, the threat of COVID-19. And you've already mentioned uh, that, uh, what what uh, the, the reason for the delay of the the court's decision, but um, can you explain to us uh, just specifically, uh, Chief, specifically what really happened? What why why the court took a while to decide on the petition? Because human rights group uh, Kapatid said the Supreme Court uh, neglected the call of prisoners and quote, sabi nila, hand washing works for COVID nineteen, but not for the Supreme Court for this petition. So my question is, how do you respond? To those who blame the Supreme Court over what happened to uh, Baby River. Yeah. At actually, as early as uh, July 28, uh, inannounced na namin yung decision, eh, di ba? Now, well, the cases uh, will be referred to the, ano, to the, uh, to the courts where the cases are, ano, are, are, uh, yeah, are filed. That was the announcement. Eh. So I don't. I, I will not blame them because they have their own, ano, they have their own interpretation. So, ako lang ang tanim mo by that announcement and then refer to the, ano, refer, refer to the uh, RTC. I think that was already to be a signal that the cases are actually uh, we are. Not, I mean, the petitions were not given due course because for the issues are factual, and then pumunta don ano? But uh, I will not blame them if they have another, another interpretation. You know, yung sa Supreme Court, hindi naman maray nagpabaya doon sa kay, ano, kay Mrs. Nasino ba yun? Nasino. You know, to tell you frankly, when the cases were pending and they were they were waiting for the resolution, and uh, and then the mother of the mother of uh, Nasino, ano, was in front of the Supreme Court. Then I was, ano, I was advised about it. I called the court ad, the court administrator, and I told him what is the concern of the mother. And uh, he, he immediately went outside of the of the of the court because we do not allow visitors during uh, during these times. And uh, he said that the 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 daughter is the one in the in the you know in, and she has a concern. So I immediately directed the court administrator to refer the mother to the RTC, and the RTC acted. Through Judge uh, Umali, but I, I I think the problem there is that they were not they were not uh, uh, satisfied with the resolution of Judge Umali, and then they caused the inhibition of Judge Umali. Hindi pa naman matay yung bata nun eh, at that time. Then thereafter, uh, upon my upon the advice of just of uh, my court administrator, he instructed the the uh, Executive Judge uh, Berlijo Macaraig, because of the inhibition, he used the e raffle So it was immediately raffled. Then it went to Judge Tupacio. Hindi pa nag si Judge Tupacio. Then there was a motion to inhibit her. I cannot blame them because, you know, my only, you know, my only reading why she was, there was a motion for inhibit because Attorney Tupacio is the lawyer in a petition for, uh, for habeas uh, corpus and Rito Pamparo pending before the Supreme Court of a girl filed by the mother of a girl of 19 year old under the care of the anak bayan. So probably that was the reason na in inhibit. Okay. So in inhibit na nila, then attorney, the parent, I think, wrote a letter to me. They wrote a letter to me. Then right there and then I said that the, this should be acted upon. I wrote a letter to the, to the, Executive judge through Justice Midas because I know I know how it feels to be to be a parent, diba? So I instructed the judge to immediately raffle it, e raffle. It went to Judge Gallegos and he immediately acted on it and he granted an original period of three day for law. But that girl, the girl already died. So you know, then I received a thank you letter from the lawyer of what I did. But because if you ask that question, I ko naman lumabas sa public yan because, you know, I do not want na marinig, marinig ng iba because I, I know how it feels to lose a child eh. But because you have this question, yun talaga nangyari. Hindi naman kami nagpabaya, no? We, 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 we tried, we tried to help her eh. But you know, 
Alam mo kasi, you know, that's why when I was talking about the reduction of bail, sabi ko, they do not need to tell us what to do. Eh. That's why I said, upon the initiative of the court, we reduce the bail bond. Eh. Kung mayroon ng power sana ng Supreme Court to go against the constitutional prohibition na hindi pwedeng mag-bail kung, uh, kung capital punishment yan, kung inilagay lang yan that they can be released if the evidence of guilt is weak, and for humanitarian reasons, agad-agad, they, 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 well, di na kinakailan ng petition yan eh. But kasi may, ano eh, may limitations eh. So that's what happened. And you cannot also blame the justices kasi they have naman the right to right to write their own. Kasi under the intent periods to follow eh. And they follow the periods to submit their, their written opinions eh. And I cannot deprive them of that. In fact, sa akin lang, three pages lang eh. Ang resolusyon ko. But I cannot tell them, oh, wag kang magsulat ng more than 30 pages, 40 pages. Hindi pwede yun. Kasi, you know, they had have, they have also, they spent a lot of time, you know, preparing all these opinions naman. You know? I hope they will understand. I hope they will understand uh, the court. You know? That's all that I can say. We tried our best. You know? And uh, I hope uh, Mrs. Nasir Nasino understands also the uh, the, the, the court you know? and the others. But uh, that's what really happened. Eh. It was not, there was no intention to delay it. Talagang may limitation kasi. Then they were saying, what about in the case of a senator? He was, eh, yung case niyong senator ka ako, it went through a hearing in Sandigan Bayan. Eh. Meron basis eh, based from the evidence. Eh. Alam mo naman, if you are a lawyer, you cannot just depend on allegations. We rule, we law, we rule on evidence. Eh. That's the rule. Eh. So, if you say that, Oh, he's weak and so on. We cannot just, you know, we, we are ruled because of some procedures to, to follow. But the, as I said, I understand the plight of Mrs. Nasino. And I extend my condolences to her. I take this opportunity to extend my condolences to her. Sir, going back to the Almonte petition lang, Justice Leonin suggested a writ of kalayaan to address prison congestion. What do you think about that and uh, how is that coming along in the court? Thank oh, you, okay. I explained to you a while ago how we, how we come out, how the procedure to in order to come out with a with a uh, with a rule, you know, uh, That is still the opinion of Justice uh, Marvick. If he will come up with suggestions, you know, to the you know to the to the court, and there is a need to. To, uh, no, to organize a committee to study the possibility of coming out with a rule on rid of Kalaya, and then uh, certainly we will do that. No, But in the meantime, there is no yet uh, recommendation from uh, Justice Marbik. We have to wait for him. It's only in, it's, in, he only indicated in his separate opinion on the case of Almonte. <laughs> but if there will be one, of course, uh, we have to study it and then uh, organize a committee to... Uh, study further, you no, know, the recommendation of Justice Marvin.